Okay. Let's, uh, we, I don't know, we've got, there's tons and tons and tons of things I want to, I want to hear about for the record so that we can <laughs> hand this all down to future generations, but let's start with, uh, well, mom's been talking a while, so let's talk about dad and your ancestors. Tell me about, the, tell the story about your father, because that's an interesting story. Uh, as as an orphan, and his mother being part of the uh, well, first flu, the Spanish my, flu. <coughs> my grandmother came over from uh, Mecklenburg. Germany her name the was Delling. Delling. Anna. Anna Deling, right? D e h l i n g. D e l i n g. Okay. But uh, first name I cannot pronounce. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Do you remember what it was? That's all right. We have. Yeah, it's a big long. Gotcha. Whatever. And they just called her for short, what was her name? For Ida. 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 Okay. And uh, her and her brother came over. He was, she was two. She was two, he was one. This would have been the 1800s, late 1800s, I think? Uh, thereabouts, late 1800s. And so they came over. Um, I guess her dad became pretty successful. I don't know that much about it, but... He owned a big plot and, and right on Metropolitan Avenue, so I, I do know that. Where is Metropolitan Avenue in Ridgewood? Are you okay. talking about the a cemetery, cemetery plot? The big oh. Lutheran Cemetery, oh. which is now multi, but it used to be Lutheran Cemetery. And huh. so she got married, and they had three children, like boom, 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 and then in a 1918 flu epidemic, he died. He being the husband? The husband. Adolf, your grandfather. Adolf right. Keller. Your great-grandfather. So all three of them went to... Um, the Whatburg. Whatburg home in the Bronx. Right. Ida was working. She worked for the Brown family in Lower Manhattan. And explain why the children went to the orphanage. Because they, the Brown family didn't want any kids. So they hired my great-grandmother to work for them yes. and said no kids. She no kids. she was housekeeper and food oh. cooker and then and then yeah but wow. no but she could visit her children on Sundays, Sundays. Oh. at the Watberg house. Yeah. Hotberg Watberg orphanage. Holy crap. Oh god that's that hard. Hard. I mean, the, the kids I know Harry of course Harry Keller. Yeah. What was his middle name? Did he have a middle name? Fred Frederick ha Harry not, Frederick. I only knew one or two <laughs> names honey. <laughs> And then my mother, Dad's name is Frederick Harry. So, our, <laughs> but my mother didn't want another Harry in the house because everybody was Harry. <laughs> okay, that's fine. even on her side. Uh, Mom didn't want oh, another that's Harry. Really that's why I don't have a middle name. Yeah. Okay, so Harry and the other two children were uh, Marion and Adolf. Okay, Adolf was after the my father. Who's the oldest? Adolf. Adolf. Then Marion. Then my my dad. He was the youngest. Okay, how long? They stayed till they were 17 and graduated high school. Holy crap, and how young when they started? My father was five. 12 years in an orphanage. Yeah, yeah they were only, they were, five, they were all under five, right? All the three children. Your father was the youngest, I My thought. My father was the youngest, he is. Yeah. Adolf was the first one, he was named as a junior. Um, yeah, so I guess they were all under five. I don't know. Well, like five, four, three, something like that. They were. He was two when he went in. That's okay. Right. I got. I'm so trying to visualize my uh, ancestry thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, what did he do when he got out? Then? He was 17 years old. Well, Adolf got out first because yeah. he was the oldest. Right. And he uh, became a printer's apprentice or whatever in. Yeah. A printing company somewhere down and when my dad got out he went to work with his brother they got him in so they're always looking for workers yeah they both worked for printers pretty much most of their life okay 